Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Check out that one. <laughs> so long, Central. You ready for this? Okay. Okay, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so talk about sturgeon, huh? That's what you want to hear about? No problem. CEO Fishing. What's up guys and welcome to CEO Fishing. Today I've got another episode of Angler Spotlight featuring Virginia Salvador. Uh, AKA Unforgettable Virginia. And after you watch this video, you'll see exactly why she's unforgettable. She's one of the coolest anglers and one of the best anglers I've ever fished with. But before we get started, I want to announce the winner from the last trivia question. So congrats to Sun Motion. You got all the questions right. There will be another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. So pay attention and comment your answers for your chance to win a shout out. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Just kidding. <laughs> Cut that out. Nope, that's staying in there, but go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Virginia Salvador, and I'm the co-captain of the Gate Crasher in Northern California in the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, so I've never been to San Francisco. What kind of species do you target over there? The majority of our season, we are fishing for white sturgeon, and in the saltwater months, between June to October, we fish in the San Francisco Bay, and we catch king salmon, halibut, rockfish, lean cod, and you name it. So obviously I know you're a true angler through and through, but what got you started into fishing? So what got me into fishing? I was actually introduced to fishing by a female angler. She was a bass fanatic named Bonnie and she was my mom's best friend. She used to take me and my brothers on these float tubes down the creek nice. and we'd fish for bass for hours under the sun. And it was ever since then, I kind of already had it running in my veins pretty young, but I come from a family of all boys and all male cousins primarily, and I was raised just like one of the boys. Hi, right, that's awesome. Yeah, my, my dad got me into fishing um, at a young age, so that's one of those things that I will just take with me the rest of my life. What does fishing mean to you? Like for me, it's just straight therapy and it's just my getaway. Plus it's my job, you know, but that's beside the point. It's my getaway, it's my therapy, and I actually need fishing to get through you know to get through the week so uh what does fishing mean to you so what does fishing mean to me i mean fishing is life duh for me it's a way of living it's an escape not from my life but just an escape mentally um i don't know i feel like when i'm out there i feel like i'm living there's something about being completely connected with nature and being able to hunt down your quarry and provide memories for years to come that's a pretty fun experience from the minute we take off at the port until the end of the day. It's a passion of mine. It's something I enjoy doing. It's not just clocking in and clocking out for me. I really do love being out there. I, I love the hunt. I love nature. I love the laughs and the stories. And there's no other way I'd rather spend a weekend, to be honest. Nice one. Holy smokes. No, that was a silent fight. I stay real quiet until I land it. When I do. Holy nice. But then when you get a monstro, so worth it. So sturgeon are one of my bucket list fish. You know, I've always wanted to catch them. I just want to feel the fight and the power of these dino creatures, you know? So uh, if you can, Tell me a little bit about sturgeon. So talk about sturgeon, huh? That's what you want to hear about? <laughs> no problem. So if many of you don't know me, I'm a dino catching fanatic and I love white sturgeon. It is the bread to my butter. <laughs> it is the funnest fish to catch in Northern California. And I can't imagine not having them to catch anywhere else in the world. Like I've traveled all over. I've been to different places and I've seen different types of sturgeon from a few different places. And there's nothing really quite like the ones here in Northern California. You know, they 
They have a unique bluntness to their nose. They have five rows of scutes that run along their body and each scoot is as sharp as a shark tooth. So they're like little razor blades and they line like little diamonds across their body. So if you try to hug them and they spin, just, just get an idea what's gonna happen to your arms. Um, but they have incredible fights. And I'm sure a lot of these Florida viewers can relate to this. It's a lot like tarpon in the sense that they jump a lot like full-on massive head shaking trying to get it out of their mouth kind of shakes and it just is an incredible thing to see um they test your grit they fight really hard they aren't done you'll finally get them to the surface and there they go again um you know the internet makes it look easy but vision ain't easy <laughs> and i think that's what i love about certain fishing is the fight is so much fun so obviously you've been on a lot of fishing adventures because you're a seasoned angler. Do you have any particular memories that kind of stand out for you that you would consider one of your best memory? Oh, I got a paper in my hand. I'm not supposed to be showing. I'm writing off script. Do you have a memory that you would consider one of your best memories? I know they're all good, but well, not all of them. I've lost a lot of fish, but tell me one of your best memories for fishing. One of your best memories. That's a loaded question, right? I could probably list like 20, <laughs> at least when it comes to fishing. But um, my most honorable mention would be that last year when I was uh, fishing for king salmon, one of my girlfriends got to come out and go fishing for salmon with us. And her name is Annie Nagel and she's an awesome fisher chick. And um, it's actually the first time she really got to fish on the gate crasher, which kind of makes it pretty special the first time she got to kind of see me in my element and uh uh we we went out one day and we had a full boat of clients and uh the first drop we made one of these fish just took off and we all thought it was a thresher and it was like peeling out and me and my co-captain looking at each other like what kind of salmon is this you know we, we both kind of thought for a moment it was a thresher and then all of a sudden you see that silver blaze out in the middle of the ocean. You're like, that's a, that's a salmon, <laughs> right? But um, so I have a video that kind of shows what happened that day. I'm totally gonna attach it to this so you can kind of experience the day. Anyway, this monster of went out way super far. She got it all the way in and salmon fishing spit the hook a lot. It's super easy to do that. So it's all about finesse and calm and kumbaya <laughs> and she brings in the brings it close to the boat i start to see it and i'm like under my breath i'm like oh that's big you know because you don't want to say it too loud to your customer because you could freak them out but i'm just like oh i couldn't even help it anyways i scoop up this fish and i was like nursing a shoulder injury i lift this fish up can't even get it past here right i'm help it was like a 33 pound king salmon. I mean, it was incredible. It was the biggest fish of my season and it was so cool to share that with friends and especially one of my girlfriends and her other girlfriend, Kat. And I would have to say that for 2019, that was one of my favorite memories. That was an amazing story and I'm really glad you were able to share that with one of your friends. Um, and I'm really glad that you shared your story with us. You know, I appreciate you and I'm sure all the other people watching this video appreciate you and your story. And we look forward to seeing more from you. And remember guys, if you want to follow Virginia, you can hit her on Instagram at unforgettable underscore Virginia. And you can also subscribe to Gate Crashers Fishing Adventures here on YouTube. But you know what? It's that time. It's time for you to have a chance to win a shout out in the next video. And all you gotta do is answer these trivia questions and comment your answers below, and I'll pick one lucky winner. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. Okay, ready? Trivia number one. And this is probably the hardest question of all of them. Who is this angler spotlight about? It's pretty obvious, I think. And trivia question number two, what is her favorite fish to catch? And trivia question number three, what charter company does she co-captain with? Guys, comment your answers below. And of course, you got a chance to win a shout out. But you know, until next time, stay safe, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and uh, tight lines. Yeah. Nice. Rock that drag back, that's how you catch a sturgeon, I guess. I slept with a 
passion. They say I be swagging, they slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Stay like a savage, we're slicking the best.